Absolutely. This president will always put America first. He will always protect American citizens. We will not see diseases like the coronavirus come here. That's Tommy Lahren. Er, sorry, I mean Kaylee McEnany the Trump administration's fourth press secretary in nearly four years. She's one of the youngest people to ever hold the position. So how'd she get here? Who is Kaylee McEnany? I'm PJ Evans, the writer of this show, and this is the story of Trump's new mouthpiece, who just had her first press conference moments ago. I will never lie to you. You have my word on that. McEnany was born in Tampa, Florida, where she attended the private Catholic preparatory school Academy of the Holy Names, which today has a tuition of over $18,000. From there, she attended Georgetown University, where she interned for the Dick Cheney, or I mean George W. Bush administration. After, she worked on renowned bassist Mike Huckabee's TV show as a producer. She worked for Huckabee for three years before jumping around as a commentator on various Fox News shows, such as Live with Megyn Kelly, Red Eye, and The Real Story with Gretchen Carlson. In the midst of bouncing around various Fox shows, McEnany somehow found time to tweet her love for Domino's Pizza over 50 times on Twitter. A few notable ones. Fun fact, Domino's is way better than any NYC pizza. And you know when I feel most alive? When that Domino's tracker comes on. It's unclear if she was a paid shill for these tweets or just has an unbounded love of fast food. Either way, McEnany took a break from her obsession with Domino's and Fox News to further her education. She went to University of Miami's law school, where she was in the top 1% of her class, and then transferred to Harvard Law, where she graduated with a JD in 2016. The same year, she announced her support for a fellow fast food obsessed presidential candidate, Donald J. Trump. After graduating from one of the nation's elite Ivy schools, McEnany made a name for herself at CNN as a fiery pro-Trump commentator. McEnany was a loud speck of red in a sea of blue. I don't think he was condoning sexual assault. He said he starts to kiss a woman and then they let him do X, Y, or Z. That implies consent, first of all. I don't think he was advocating sexual assault. How does you might that think he's consent? gone. You might think he's gone around assaulting women. I don't think that's the case. She has been preening her red state credentials for some time. In 2012, she amplified Trump's bigoted birther conspiracy, which asserted that Obama, the nation's first black president, was born in Kenya. McEnany tweeted, quote, how I met your brother, never mind, forgot he's still in that hut in Kenya, hashtag Obama TV shows. Political commentators, we have a duty and an obligation, Van, to correct mistruths and falsehoods. On August 5th, 2017, McEnany abruptly left her post at CNN. The next day, she popped up as a host on Real News Update, a pro-Trump webcast, where she would be totally free from being challenged by people like Van Jones. Hey everybody, I'm Kaylee McEnany. Thank you for joining us as we provide you the news of the week from Trump Tower here in New York. The same month, the Republican National Committee named McEnany a national spokesperson. In a GOP press release, she said, in part, quote, I am excited to be joining the RNC at such an important and historic time in our country. But it wasn't long before CNN had McEnany back on the air to get a Republican insider's viewpoint on the facts. Kaylee McEnany, do you believe this president has ever lied to the American no. people? I don't believe the president wow. has lied. As of January 20th, 2020, a Washington Post analysis found Trump had made 16,241 false or misleading claims. Also, water is wet and the sky is blue. Anywho, McEnany's unwavering support for the nation's first former game show host and accused rapist turned president, Donald J. Trump, finally paid off in April of 2020. She was hired to replace Stephanie Grisham, famous for never holding a press conference in her nine months on the job, as the new White House press secretary. If McEnany Kaylee's stint in the White House will be anything like her television persona. She'll be there for the long haul, aka another 20 years, blindly defending Trump to the masses every single day, but only on state TV, or Fox News. Hey, Kayla, are you going to be doing press conferences? Your predecessor didn't, uh, didn't do the press conferences. Will you be doing them as time goes on? We move into this post-COVID world, we hope. Hey, I, I gaggle with the press, you know, almost every day. And look, that's up to the president. But right now, the American people are hearing directly from President Trump. And there's no better messenger than the president of the United States. Hey, thanks for watching Who Is? Did you know we have a podcast now, too? On Who Is? The podcast? I'll dive deep into the fascinating lives of the people who run things, whose decisions impact every aspect of our lives. How did they get where they are today? And knowing that, what might they do next? From politicians to the ultra-rich to military contractors and monarchs and media moguls, I'll introduce you to the reporters and experts who know these real-life world molders best 
sharp-eyed observers and confidants who observe our subjects as they make the decisions that define our everyday lives. To see more, hit the link or search Who Is on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. And for more of the video series you know and love, be sure to check out the Snapchat versions and our series playlists on YouTube and Facebook.